Hello my little darklings, Carmia Stone here, and welcome back to Bad End Theater. Now, let's see. Okay, this is interesting. It started, it started up like this. Okay then. Um, but we're going to take all of this off. Maybe have antisocial leave. Um, and we... Well, let's, just, let's take off antisocial. We'll put that on ourselves. Be polite. And... Take off dutiful, take off dutiful, and let's see what this ending goes to. You know, let's let her stay for a while. You're trying to bring another human in your doorway. This time, it's a hero. He was apparently searching for the maiden who was rumored to have been captured by your kind. Captured? Not at all! I only wanted to meet with the Overlord. Did anyone read the note I left behind? After everything is explained, the hero expresses his relief that this whole misunderstanding hadn't led to any horrible consequences. The maiden apologizes for causing trouble, and the hero asks to return to the village with him. Confusing feelings well up inside your heart. Maybe you're surprised that you had one of those to begin with. You don't want the hero to take this maiden away from you. Let them go. You're certain that she'll return to spend more time with you. You just have to trust in that. You decide. With the hero maiden gone, you plop down to the comfort of your luxurious overlord bed. Your room feels so empty now. Is this loneliness? You hope your new friend will be back soon. Close your eyes for a while. Until your door slams shut. Before you know it, everything around you is being engulfed by flames. What's going on? You try to escape, but something's blocking the door. You're having trouble forcing it open. What is this? Someone didn't want you to get out. Are you being usurped? Have they zero foresight? What castle will they rule if it... If this one burns! You don't want to believe that your underlings have betrayed you, but this is no accident. Those ungrateful bastards. You choke on the thick black smoke from the fire. Can't believe you're being done in by a bunch of cowards. You'll see them in hell. Burned Overlord. Crispy. Tell her she'd better go home. You love having all the conversations in the world with your new friend, but having a human girl here will definitely cause trouble. You put on your mean face and tell her to get lost. The maiden does what she's told and takes her leave. You figure you may as well go to bed now. But you don't get to rest for very long. For you know everything around you is being engulfed by flames. What's going on? Okay, it's like, it's gonna be the same thing. Keep her here. The maiden came here to be captured by you, didn't she? You'll grant her wish. You tell the hero you won't let him take her home. The maiden assures you she'll be back, but you don't budge. The hero is cautious now. If you won't let her go, maybe you demons are evil after all. And if you are, I'll be forced to vanquish you. You have no choice. You destroy the hero before I can steal your maiden away. She's frightened. You don't understand why. Didn't she say she prefers this place to her village? Now she doesn't have to leave. Take a step toward the maiden and she backs herself into a corner. You don't understand. She wanted to stay here with you. The hero was trying to get in the way of that. You had to kill him. You'll be sure to keep this maiden very safe from now on. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. The hero asks if you'll return to the village with him to give everyone the news of your safety. But the overlord would objects to the hero's suggestion. You tell her you plan on returning soon, but she isn't having it. You feel nervous. The hero puts on a brave face for you. If you won't let her go, maybe you demons are evil after all, and if you are, I'll be forced to vanquish you. You leave me no choice. The Overlord suddenly jumps the hero. She tears into him with her claws. You want to cry out, but the scream catches in your throat. You watch, because you can't look away. Had she really been lying to you all along? You wonder, is this your punishment for questioning the divine plan? 
Overlord approaches you now. You back yourself into a corner. Her expression is complacent. Com it's complicated, and we. I just said that. Being captured by the Overlord in a horrible way like this was your destiny after all. She vows to keep you very safe from now on. You're afraid to find out what that means, but there's no one left to save you. You belong to the Overlord now. Captured Maiden ending A. Okay then. Oh, okay, let's see what happens if I take off Diplomatic and put on Dutiful and Heroic. The hero suddenly tap. Wait, hold on. Beep. Something horrible must have happened. The, real the hero suddenly dashes toward the Overlord, sword drawn. You selflessly throw yourself in front of the hero's blade, acting as a shield. It's funny. You think you never could have imagined this would be the way that you die. The roles are all switched around, but it feels right to you somehow. You're glad your destiny turned out to be saving someone rather than being saved yourself. As your vision fades, you hope that everything turns out alright for your new friend. Ooh, okay, 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 I see, I see. Do nothing. The hero's blade pierces the overlord, and she lets out a horrible scream. You flinch. The overlord is slain. The hero smiles and holds out his hand to you, saying it's time to go home. His glove is drenched in blood. Hesitantly, you take his hand. The hero guides you to the castle, past the corpses of his enemies. You try to keep your eyes at your feet. There's blood everywhere. You shut your eyes, but even then, you can't escape the smell. All this because of you, wasn't it? You exit the castle, and the hero leads you back to the village. Everyone celebrates the hero's great triumph over the demons. You feel sick, but you take part in the festivities regardless. The Overlord tells you again that you should get lost. How rude! You just got here! You don't want to cause any trouble, so you figure it's time to go home. Along the way, you encounter a hero. I ask you what you're doing. Don't you know the Overlord's castle is like... Right there? You explain everything that happened. The hero seems to think you're lying to him. He asks if you've been brainwashed by the demons. What nerve! You are very upset that the so-called hero would treat you this way and leave in a hop. You return to the village alone. Everyone was very worried about you. They surround you with thousand questions, and you tell them your story. As you explain, the old lord never had any intentions to harm anyone here. You notice the looks of uncertainty in the crowd. People are whispering things to each other while you speak to them. You are loudly interrupted by an older man. He rudely calls you a demon sympathizer. The crowd is growing unruly. You don't understand. You've only told them the truth. Do they not believe you? Everyone begins speculating what must have actually happened. They weave elaborate lies and ask you to prove your innocence. How could you have returned without the aid of a hero, they ask. You could not have possibly escaped the Overlord on your own without harm. You must be conspiring with the demons, trying to trick everyone to believe in they aren't the horrible creatures we know them to be. So they say. Have the people of your village always been this blinded by their fears and hatred of things they've never cared to know? You wonder how you missed that before. You are seated at the crowd and voices from all sides are calling for public execution. You are to be burned at the stake. You don't want to die. You wonder, would it have been better to hide the truth? You don't like the thought of that. You have always lived honestly. So why has this happened? Why are you being punished? You hear the dissonant voices of your family and neighbors, but they, like you, are powerless against the monument, the momentum. They can only watch as you burn, and you can only cry for them. You are so, so sorry. Executed Maiden. Alright then. I refuse to leave. You put your foot down and tell her you're not going anywhere. You still want to fulfill your destiny, even if you have to make it happen on your own. You're a little frustrated, your stubbornness. But does it kick you out or anything? Hooray! The Overlord shares many stories with you. And little by little, you realize that might be the ruthless monsters you were raised to believe. The Overlord allows the two of you to leave, and you give her a little wave as you exit the room. You'll be back soon. You're about halfway to the village when you feel something is off. 
Unable to shake your concern, you look back over your shoulder. Stopping your tracks. Castle is engulfed in flames. Is the Overlord all light? You can't return to the village like this. You have to know. You have to be sure everyone is safe. You've already taken off before the hero can even think of stopping you. You scan the fleeing demons, but the Overlord isn't among them. Against your better judgment, you rush into the burning castle to find her. You quickly reach the Overlord's room, but the door is shut tight. The handle is too hot to touch. You're too weak to force it open. You pound your fist against the door helplessly. What are you thinking? This is all because you'd forgotten your role. Only a hero could pull this kind of thing off. You start to cough. The smoke is too thick. You can hardly breathe. You realize you haven't gotten much time left now. You desperately head towards the stairs to save yourself. But this fire spread faster than you expected. You won't make it outside. You can't help but laugh. What a joke. A maiden saving the overlord. If you just stayed true to your role, things wouldn't have ended like this. This is exactly the kind of punishment you deserve. You let the demon fire cleanse your rotten soul. Selfless maiden and B. Okay then. Let's reset the stage again. Okay, so it looks like we got almost all of them except for the one for the underling. So, okay, let's see what we got for... Currently, I can actually look and see the routes. Holy crap! Uh, this maiden has a lot of bad endings, doesn't she? You don't get to sleep long. Your friends wake you up. Rude. One of them is stepping on you pretty hard. You ask them what their deal is. They say they're planning on a whole revolution. They're getting, getting rid of the current overlord and put a new ruler in place. They want to hear if you're in or out. And being a pretty lazy underling, you of course reply with. That sounds like a lot of trouble. How about we just skip it instead? Your friends question your loyalty to their cause. Okay, let's kill- well, okay, let's try this one. Your friends seem pretty disappointed. They apologize to you before you can ask what they're sorry about. One of them subtly seizes you. Someone who's still loyal to the Overlord really has no place in our castle. You understand, right? Their claws tighten around your neck. You don't bother to struggle. You're outnumbered. You already know how things like this end. This is a pretty messed up thing to do to a friend, tell them. They slit your throat in response. Faithful underling. Okay, let's kill the overlord. Tell them you were just joking. Clarify that you're o they're totally in it to win it. They say you're always terrible with jokes. Whether or not they actually feel like killing the overlord, you know how bad it'd be to end up on the wrong side of things. And if this assassination deal doesn't pan out, you can always pretend you were innocent all along. Beneath your shield of fo of a uh, faux confidence, you worry about what you're getting yourself dragged into. If all your friends outside the castle talk more about the plan, you're curious if they have any idea how they want to go about this. They figured they'd just lock her in a room and set it on fire. What a stupid plan that could go wrong in so many ways. You realize your friends are just a bunch of directionless thugs, useless without someone's guidance. Your guidance. They're prob they they'd probably be casualties if you fought her head on, and while show and while showing deaths make a revolution a heck of a lot more fun, it's probably the wrong way to go. Your friends agree and suggest that you play the assassin. You really didn't want it to come down to this. But you can't back down now. You'll have to be the one to assassinate the Overlord. Besides, no one has any better ideas. You and your friends turn to notice a pair of humans have overheard your entire conversation. They take off into the castle. Are they headed to the Overlord's room? Fuck! The Overlord will kill you for sure if she finds out you are conspiring to take her out! You dash into the castle after the humans. Sure enough, the maiden's already frantically telling the Overlord everything. Shut the humans are our liars! Your friends soon arrive to back you up, except they don't. Instead, they blame the whole thing on you. They cry that it was all your idea, and that they were just going with the flow, too scared to refuse your crazy plan! I can't believe they tell the Overlord such a blatant lie. You always knew better than to trust them. You're the one who didn't have a choice here. 
You all shy at each other until the Overlord demands silence. Regardless of who led this conspiracy, I have no choice but to punish everyone to keep all of you in place. Crushed beneath my heel. She sounds tough, but lately all she does is sleep. You doubt her strength. You hear Traitor's friends mutter something about going back to Plan A, and suddenly the door slams shut. You're trapped in here with the Overlord and two humans, and then the room bursts into flames. You pound the door, screaming curse at those who betrayed you. The hero joys you vowing to slay the lot of them. You wish you'd got you'd get the chance. The Overlord grabs you by the throat. You cry for mercy. You were forced into this mess. You're sure now that they would have killed you if you'd sided with her. The Overlord doesn't hear your pleas. She drives her claws into your chest. At least she made it quick. Loyalty. You sneak up to the Overlord's room, but there's a couple of humans in there. You watch the scene unfold. You aren't sure why, but the Overlord suddenly cuts down the hero. She approaches the maiden you brought to her earlier. With the Overlord distracted, you figure this is as good a chance as any. You launch a sneak attack, getting her right in the back. She flinches, giving you enough advantage to take her down. You rip the Overlord apart until she stops moving. That was messier than you would have liked. The maiden mutters something from the corner. Thank you for saving me. It wasn't your attention, but it sounds like you did something heroic. Tell the man to go home. This place is dangerous. She follows your advice and leaves the castle. Your castle. You are now the new overlord. They're very eager to talk to you about the whole kill the overlord plan. You admit you haven't given it much thought and only just now remembered it was a thing. Your friends question your loyalty to their cause. Let's kill the Overlord! Sneak into the Overlord's room. He's taking a nap, like usual. This is almost too easy. Silently approach your master. She looks so peaceful. I figured the cleanest way to do this would be to dig your claws into her throat. So you just so you do just that. She wakes up, but in not in time to stop you. You watch as she chokes on her blood, cursing you before finally expiring. That felt terrible. You remind yourself it was either her or you, and you were able to let yourself get killed by anyone. You leave the room to find your friends waiting just outside. They look pleased. Only now do you realize they must have planned to use you like this from the beginning. You are the new ruler of this castle. Your subjects bow before you. You live in fear that they will one day betray you as you had betrayed your overlord. Check it out. You don't want to kill her. You can't go through with it. You turn to leave the room, but you find your friends blocking the exit. In a panic whisper, you ask them to let you out. This seems to have been this seems to have been their way of testing your loyalty. You tell them this is pretty fucked up, and ask to be let out again. The Overlord stirs in her bed while your head is turned. The demon shut the door. You scramble into the Overlord's closet to hide before she wakes up and sees you. There's nothing you could possibly say to explain this and survive. You're trembling. I can't believe those assholes would bully you like this. You feel like crying. Light flickers at your feet. It doesn't take you long to realize that this is room on fire. You hear the Overlord trying to get the door open to no avail. You're both trapped. Too afraid to move, you resign yourself to your fate. You and the Overlord burn together. Cowardly Underling. It's about a maiden heading towards the village. She couldn't have come from the Overlord's castle, could she? It's maybe the exact maiden you're currently seeking to rescue. You approach her with curiosity, and she runs from you for some reason. You wonder what all that's about, but then you remember you're covered in demon blood. Not wanting to look like you're a crazy person chasing after her or anything, you nonchalantly walk back to town. As you walk past the town square, you notice the whole village is crowded around. Is that the maiden you saw earlier? She's bound to a wooden stake. The crowd is in a frenzy. Smoke begins to rise as you stand idly by as flames consume the maiden. She must have done something horrible to deserve that. You decide to call a day and return to your house, but you can't escape the sinking feeling. Maybe you aren't cut out for this role. Spectator hero. Okay. Do you know what the hell you're doing murdering all her soldiers? 
Get straight to the point and ask her where the maiden is. She feigns ignorance, a convincing act, but you won't be fooled. The maiden isn't here, then what happened to her? You can, you can see only one answer. The Overlord definitely captured her. In fact, it's possible she's already been devoured. Thinking about the poor maiden's fate fills you with hatred. Fight the Overlord with everything you've got. Become strong from the hordes of demons you took down before this final battle. The Overlord is almost no match for you. Cut her to pieces. The Overlord has fallen. Breathe a sigh of relief, but your job is not yet finished. Search the castle. Fortunately, you find no sign of the maiden within its walls. It's just as you expected. She must have already been devoured. Feel hollow. A great evil has been banished from this world, but what does that matter if you were too weak to save some? Stand alone amidst the carnage and ponder what it means to be a hero. You return to the Overlord's remains and wrap her head in your cape to bring it to the village. Surely a great victory will be celebrated. Failed hero. You lunge forward to put an end to the evil Overlord, but your blade pierces the maiden instead. She has sacrificed herself to protect this demon. It takes you a moment to recover from the shock. The Overlord wails. Why did you do that? You're not sure if the question is directed at you. The Overlord strikes at you in eventual rage. You parry, and she is slain. Your sword feels heavy. You look at your hands, clothes, blood. So much blood. You look at them fallen maiden, wondering what to tell the townspeople. Why would she protect the Overlord? She must have been brainwashed by demonic magic. Pick up the Overlord's head, wrapping it in your cape, and begin your long journey back to town. They'll say that you were too late. Nothing can be done for the girl. But the Overlord is slain. There will be celebration. Loyal heroes end. The Overlord is alone. You ask about the maiden, but the Overlord doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Is she really never here? You wonder what could have happened to her. The Overlord says that she wishes she could help you, but the fir but you're the first hero that's come here in forever. At least that she knows of. You think of how you probably shouldn't trust her, seeing as she's a demon and all. But you can't really prove she's lying either. You apologize for the intrusion and return home to your village. The maiden was never found. Useless hero. Ask the maiden what's going on. The maiden explains that she was never actually captured and that she came here on her own volition. Pretty much thing you've done to her, but no one got hurt. Ask her to return with you to assure everyone of her safety. But the Overlord objects to this. The Maiden tries to tell her that she'll come right back, but the Overlord refuses to hear it. The Maiden sees Nerus as a hero, your job to remediate situations like these. Tell the Overlord that if she doesn't let the two of you go, you'll have to assume she's evil. You'll be forced to vanquish her. You leave me no choice. The Overlord pauses before suddenly jumping you. You're helpless as she disembowels you with her claws. A horrible came all this way only to be met with this cruel fate. You should have destroyed those, these evil creatures while you had the chance. Your dying wish is for the maiden to somehow make it out of this alive. Naive hero. You pause when you see a group of suspicious demons standing near the entrance. They're talking about assassinating their overlord. This proves to you that demons really are foul creatures. We have to tell her about this! You don't understand what the maiden is thinking. The world is better off with less demons. They're all cruel- they're all cold and ruthless creatures that should be destroyed. Those same creatures have just noticed you eavesdropping. The maiden takes off into the castle, and you have no choice but to follow. You burst into the overlord's room. The maiden frantically tries to communicate what you just overheard. A demon underling barges in next, calling you liars. Followed by the group from the entrance, who shifts the blame back onto the little one. These demons only care about themselves. How low can they be? You begin shouting at them, and the whole room dissolves in a noise until the Overlord yells for everyone to shut their traps. She threatens them with violence. This Overlord is no better than her subjects. Grip your sword tightly. You have to cut through everyone here to get this maid into safety. You certainly will. The group of demons hiss to each other before shutting the door, leaving the run to the litter behind. 
glance around another exit, but there isn't one, you have a terrible feeling about this. In an instant, the whole room is in flames. What kind of demonic magic is this? The underling pounds on the door, upset that it's been betrayed. You join it, vowing to slay the cowardly demons on the other side. The next moment, the overlord has taken hold of the underling. It's crying for mercy. She thrusts her claws into her underling's chest and lets out a horrible scream. Back away. Won't be the next target of her rage. She continues to dig and twist her claws into his limp body. No longer watch. She looks at the maiden. She's crying, hands clasped together in prayer. To have faith in a time like this. You envy her. Two of you, the Overlord and the Underling's corpse, are all consumed by flames. The resigned hero. You should actually share about all this, but she gets very upset that you think she would lie to you. She storms off before you can say anything else. You decide to return to the village, certain that she must have been kidnapped maid and you were sent to rescue. Glad that took care of itself. Take your time walking home, job well done today, you think to yourself. You all pass the town square, you notice the whole village is crowded around. Is that the maiden you saw earlier? That's something horrible. She seemed nice though, you think. But evil comes in all forms, you reassure yourself. You decide to call it a day and return to your house, but you can't escape the sinking feeling. You have no reason to assume she's lying to you, even though your story even though her story is kind of hard to believe, you feel you should trust her. You tell her you're pretty surprised that everyone has been wrong about demons all along. Perhaps people must be informed of this immediately. The two of you return to the village. They had all been so worried. They praise you for your bravery. The maiden quickly sets the record straight. There was nothing she needed to be rescued from. Oh, Han. In the first place, the villagers looked to you for an explanation. You politely informed that this isn't your story to tell. You, mer you merely ran into her on the way to the castle. She explains the Overlord isn't interested in capturing maidens or anything of the sort. The villagers turn to you again in disbelief. They aren't being subtle in how little they trust this maiden's story. You totally believe her, to, but to place at these fair citizens, you volunteer to speak to the demons personally, just in case. The crowd breaks into hush whispers. You're too busy thinking what a great and reliable hero you are to hear what they're saying. The town elder's voice breaks you out of your thoughts. He implores you to meet with the Overlord immediately, and says they'll all keep an eye on the Maiden until you return. Okay, that sounds alright, but the mood is kind of intense for some reason. Did you miss something? You aren't sure what's going on, but you get the feeling it might be bad to leave the Maiden on her own. She suddenly takes off running. Oh, you thought the two of you were in this together? Her actions have convinced the crowd that she's obviously been a liar and a witch from the start. People are shouting for you to hunt her and her demon friends down already, but it doesn't feel like a very heroic task. You can't help but feel these people are wrong. It's up to you to catch up to catch her and talk to the demons in order to clear up this misunderstanding. You valiantly dash after the maiden toward the overlord's castle. The air becomes dark and thick as you enter deep into the demon territory. Evil miasma? No. You realize it's just normal smoke. You see the maiden ahead, but she stopped in her tracks. The overlord's castle engulfed in flames. You had only taken an eye off the maiden for a second, but she's already disappeared. You get close to the castle, but the smoke is so thick now, you think of turning back. The maiden might need your help, but you can barely see. She could be impossible to find. She could have been lying to you all along. Is this a trap? Would it be worth risking your life on that chance? Your legs feel heavy. No, going in there would be suicide. You return to the villagers and tell them there was nothing you could do. You were too late. The maiden was claimed by the demon. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end the episode here for today. So, it looks like there is four routes. There's not just a three-thing route, it's a four route. So, I'm going to have to figure out what the other ones are for the other three. And hopefully we'll be able to have a very interesting turn of events. I'm wondering what the final ending is going to be in all this. And I see these four up here. So I'm wondering if that's supposed to be like a good ending or a severely bad ending for all four of the characters. I don't know. 
This is getting interesting for her, like... Like, what ha- Like, the kind of, like, what-if scenarios. I like this a lot. Okay. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed my little dark wings, and if you did, please leave a like and a comment down below. And if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button to be able to see more of my content. I post every Mondays and Fridays. And if you have any other game suggestions or anything for me to try out, either leave them down in the comments below or in the Discord server. Link to that is in the description. But anyways, I hope you enjoy my little dark wings, and I will see you next time.